Netflix is saving the day for first-run movies. Originally slated for a theatrical release, The Lovebirds ended up going straight to Netflix after Netflix bought the distribution rights from Paramount. The Lovebirds is about Gibran and Leilani, a couple who recently broke up that accidentally hit someone with their car and then witnessed that same man getting murdered with said car. The two go through New Orleans to clear their names. Directing this film is Michael Showalter, who directed Ninjani in the outstanding film The Big Sick. Showalter doesn't miss a beat. He is able to bring out the best in Issa Rae and Kumail Ninjani. Between crooked cops and bizarre sex cults, this is a film that is fairly entertaining. It also doesn't overstay its welcome, clocking in at 80 minutes before credits. Usually films like this tend to go way over long. Which goes to Issa Rae and Kumail Ninjani. These two have such great comedic and romantic chemistry together. Watching these two play off of each other is really great. Ninjani gets a genuinely hilarious scene involving a horse. But after watching this, I legitimately get why Paramount sold this off. This is the very definition of a movie you watch on streaming. It's May and we are still in a pandemic. Would I have watched this theatrically? No. Would I have rented it? Yes. Did I see it on Netflix and click on it? Yes. The Lovebirds takes the easy route with its comedy. Jokes are telegraphed two minutes before they land. Most of the jokes are screamed at the top of their lungs. Also, I'm getting tired of Kumail Ninjani playing the same character over and over again. The guy is funny and has great acting chops. I just don't want to see him keep getting typecast. But for what it is, I give The Lovebirds a 3 out of 5. The Lovebirds has two great performances from Ray and Ninjani in a slim runtime, but it's been there, done that feel overshadows what could have been a way better movie. But I'm gonna be honest, I love this film way better than Stuber. It's perfect to watch when there's nothing else on Netflix. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the number one film on Netflix by the time I release this. So more than likely you're probably going to watch this anyway. At least it's better than the wrong Missy. Crocodile Dundee? What, it's a blind date. What if you were some psycho? Then I could behead you. Be sure to like, comment, share, spread the word of New Realms Media. Follow me on all my socials at New Realms Media. And until then, I'll see you next time.